Hey everyone, what's going on? Vinny here from the AndroidAction.com. Here today, going to do a nice review of the newest Google Music. So, this uh, this app is pretty incredible. Uh, I don't even know where to start with it, to be honest with you. I'm kind of in love with it at the moment. Um, so, bear with me here. I'm just going to kind of go through it and play around with it as you guys watch. So. So, um, starting off, you got Listen Now. So, Listen Now is basically just recent music you've had on your device and just, you know, th things you've added thing recently, things that you've listened to recently, and then some things that are recommended for you. So, you know, you just go through it, it says at the bottom, this one was recently added. You know, you click on it, that's cool. And then, you know, this one down here, say right here welcome to the family that one is recommended for me so it's just really cool you got a bunch of stuff down here you can see my uh... you know library is very uh... different but uh... anyways so go to my library this is where all your music is so this is everything that you've put into your uh... discography of you know what you like so you know, as you can tell, I got all sorts of different stuff on here. I got rap, I got metal, I got, you know, some country sneaking in here. Um, you know, so what you do basically is you have artists right here. You can swipe over to albums. You can swipe over to just songs. Um, then you can go over to genres here. So it places everything in a genre. And it's just really cool how it's laid out. It's so organized. It's amazing. It's just, it's so, it's so nice, you guys. Yeah. You know the I paid or I didn't pay. I'm I'm doing the trial right now, so this is the whole point for the video. Um, so if you go into uh, Explore and you have recommended for you up, up at the top here, and then down here you have like you know whatever you recently listened to. So I was listening to Asking Alexandria, so it recommended a few things for me, and it reloads by itself every once in a while. But uh, if you click more up at the top here, I'll give you quite a few uh, things that are recommended for you. And say you want to try one of them out. So, you know, for purposes, I'm not gonna, you know, for uh, you know reasons of uh, copyright things, I'm not gonna actually play anything. But uh, you know, if I wanted to say listen to Pendulum, I wanted to try that this uh, this out. I'd listen to it, you know, decide. Oh, you know what? I really like this band and there's the my library button right there so you just click that and bam add it to your library so you go back go to my library you'll see it's in here down at the bottom somewhere okay pendulum there they are so very cool. It's so easy to use. It's it's just amazing. You also have radio. So the coolest thing about this part of the app is that it's just like Pandora. You know, you, you create say a Stone Sour radio or a Little Wayne radio. And I'll give you an example here. So if we wanted to make a Little Wayne radio, just click on it. It's all you do. And it starts it up. And then, you know, it'll play a little wing song to start it off. And then after that, it's everything like that. Now, the coolest thing about this is you can you can uh, skip through as many as you like until you find something that you want to listen to. Okay? So, also, you know, you have uh, thumbs up and thumbs down, just like Pandora or iHeartRadio or anything like that. And it'll store that in there and use it, you know, like any other. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Like anything else. So... You know that's uh, that's kind of how it works, guys. You also have playlists, so of course you can start your own playlist like normal. You know, if you go into uh, my library, you can do it through my library or explore. You just click the three dots. Whoops, missed them, I guess. Click three dots, and you can start a radio for a tray you, or you can click on it, and you can go. Uh, let's see. I think you click here, yeah, you click three dots inside of their queue, and then you just hit add to playlist. 
so you'll you know add all those songs and you select your playlist whatever it might be and you know it'll be in your playlist so very cool so organized it's awesome I mean you know it's just really cool guys it, it's so much better than anything else out there you know it has it's basically Pandora plus uh, uh, Google Music of the old plus uh, Spotify all in one it, it's just really cool uh, I would really recommend it I mean you got the search up here so you can search anything so if we wanted to search you know let's see if it just he just pops up so Bon Jovi so there we go so we got Bon Jovi here we'll just click on him and you can listen to one of his top songs you can check out his top albums you can check out related artists and then you know if you find the album that you wanted it check out so let's say we wanted to check out have a nice day you know click you can play you can play that song you can just add it to your library right there you can click over here you can start a radio from from it you can just go to the artist you can buy the song which if you have this it's kind of pointless to buy it because you'll have the monthly subscription to keep it inside of your uh, your library so I would not recommend buying anything out of here but it is cool to have the option because you know sometimes it's useful but you know not something that would happen fre frequently um but very cool you just have so many options and it's just so organized you know it's so visually appealing as well I think personally I mean the the nice way it's laid out um in every single aspect of this is just incredible uh, you know Google I.O. didn't have a lot going for it but uh this was one of the things I was really excited to see how they did it and it just it's just flawless guys it really is I would really recommend starting the trial because it's only gonna be eight bucks a month if you start now um, you get a free 30 days if you don't like you can cancel um, you know I, I I don't think it'd be anything you don't like it's so perfect it's really cool uh, you know of course it streams over your data so you know you can store it on your device if you choose to you can choose to download them and store it on your device but uh, you know me personally I choose to just stream it because I have too much music to really store on any of my devices but with all that being said guys I don't want to make this too long so if you have any questions or anything don't forget to comment below and ask me you know I'm usually pretty good at getting back to you guys uh, message me if you have any other questions too like the video if it helped you guys out uh, you know share your thoughts on it I really like to know what you guys think about it you know check it out for yourselves uh, it should just be an update in the Google Play Store uh, for you know play music so check it out guys really I really recommend getting it it's not too expensive it's really worth it and I think it's gonna be you know a killer for uh, all the other music centric uh, apps out there like Spotify and Pandora and all those I think it just blows it right out of the water uh, it's just so more fluid and just so so much better designed but uh, with all that being said, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like the video if it uh, helped you out a little bit. Like us on Facebook. You know, check me out on Twitter. Uh, check out the site. Subscribe, you guys. You know, videos coming out all the time. So, you know, don't miss out. See you in the next one.